So creativity people love to tell a story about pens and pencils in space. And the story usually is told like this. NASA realized there was a problem with pens in space in the 1960s. So they spent millions of dollars to design a special pen that would work in zero gravity. How did the Soviets solve the same problem? With pencils, but on boats. I love this story. I used to tell people this story. And I wanted to do a short video about the story and about how uh, it's difficult to sometimes think outside the box because it doesn't feel right. But I figured I'd get my facts straight, so I looked up the story, and it turns out that the whole story is made up. Uh, that is not why they designed the space pen, uh, and it's not the solution that Soviets used. And the reason is this. Neither pens or pencils work very well in space. Pens don't work at all because they need gravity. Pencils are a terrible solution to the problem, and it was discovered by the Americans because basically when you use a pencil in space, you create a, 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 a cloud of graphite dust uh, that comes off the pencil. And graphite dust is highly flammable and toxic to the astronauts. So it wasn't for naught that they designed the pen. It was a great idea to design the pen. And it wasn't even designed by NASA. It was designed outside. Somebody else paid for the work. They just sold it to NASA once they'd done the work. So um, this presented me with a problem because I really wanted to use this story. And uh, I did want to think outside the box. So I used the story to think outside the box. And I asked myself the question, what can be learned from this story in its true form? And this is what I came up with. The problem is that we sometimes continue to use tools that used to work for us, even though the environment around us has changed. And when we do that, whether or not we realize it or not, we may be creating a problem for ourselves, a problem uh, like a graphite cloud that is toxic to us and at worst can blow up. So the thing we need to do all the time is ask ourselves, has the environment changed? Is there something new I need to address? And are my tools still as effective as I used to think they were? Today's lesson.